I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a movie that came out in 1978 called Big Wednesday. Big Wednesday is a story about three friends who love surfing. In this scene, one of the guys, Matt, is at a cafe with his partner. Matt's just been to a funeral and he's not in a good mood. If you'd like to watch the scene first, please follow the link here or you can find a clip of the scene on our transcript page. The cafe they're in is called Cosmic Cafe. The year is supposed to be 1968 and the hippie subculture began in the 60s and I think this cafe could be described as a hippie cafe. The clothes most of the customers are wearing, the music, the decor of the cafe could all be described as hippie style. Even the menu, they don't serve meat. And the language they use too. Matt orders a couple of cheeseburgers and two Cokes. And the waiter says, we're off that trip, man. We don't serve animal hostilities. Trip, in this sense, means a self-indulgent attitude or activity. For example, you might say your manager is on an ego trip or a power trip. By animal hostilities, he means meat or animal products. Hostilities is a formal word which means acts of warfare. I've only heard the term animal hostilities in this movie, so I'm not sure if it was a common expression at the time or not. The waiter is expressing his opinion through his choice of words. He thinks that eating cheeseburgers is an act of warfare against animals. If he wanted to reply to the customer in a neutral way, without expressing his opinion, he could have said, we don't serve animal products. But he obviously wants to share his opinion with Matt, and he goes on to say, it's bad karma, brother. Karma is a concept in several religions, and it's also used informally to mean the effect of doing a particular thing. So if you say that eating animal products is bad karma, then you're saying that something bad will happen to you if you eat animal products. And finally, the word brother is slang for a fellow human, but Matt doesn't like being called brother. He says, hey, I'm not your brother, and turn down that crappy music. But the waiter doesn't care, and he keeps calling him brother. He says, hey, peace, brother. And later on, when he brings out the drinks, he puts them down and says, Here's your Cokes, brother. Kia ora, in stick news today, an Australian surfer survived a shark attack during a competition in South Africa. Mick Fanning is a 34-year-old professional surfer. He's won the ASP World Tour three times. On Sunday, he was surfing in a competition in South Africa when he was attacked by a great white shark. Mick Fanning punched the shark and he escaped uninjured. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 21st of July. Kia ora. Today's word is folks. Folks is an informal, friendly way of addressing people. And that's how the waiter uses it in the scene we're studying today. He says, you folks ready to order? This means the same thing as, are you guys ready to order? Which is common in New Zealand. Or, are y'all ready to order? Which you might hear in some parts of the US. In New Zealand, I sometimes hear people use folks to mean their parents. For example, someone might ask you, how are your folks? But it's not often used the way Barack Obama uses it which is when he's speaking in formal situations, such as at a press conference, he uses it instead of the word people. For example, when he was talking about illegal immigration, he said that the US should deport folks who are criminals, gangbangers, people who are hurting the community. If we're going to go after folks who are here illegally, we should do it smartly and go after folks who are criminals, gangbangers, people who are hurting the community. This sounds odd to me, to use the word folks in such a formal situation, talking about a serious topic. And I looked it up and it turns out there's a bit of discussion online about Obama's use of the word folks. 
Some people have suggested that he uses the word folks a lot because he's from Hawaii and in Hawaii it's very common to use the word folks instead of people. And other people say that it's because he's trying to connect with people. And it seems that some people like it and some people don't. They find it condescending or insincere. What do you think about Barack Obama's use of the word folks? Are you folks ready to order? We're off that trip, man. We don't... We don't serve animal hostilities. Yeah, well, it's bad karma, brother. Hey, peace, brother. Yeah, couple of cheeseburgers and two cokes. What do you mean? Well, just get us two cokes, huh? Hey, I'm not your brother. I'm turn down that crappy music. Big Wednesday came out in A, 1978, B, 1998. 1978. Hostilities means A, acts of kindness, B, acts of warfare. Acts of warfare. You folks ready to order means A, are you guys ready to order? B, are your parents ready to order? Are you guys ready to order? Why couldn't Matt eat cheeseburgers? A. The cafe didn't serve them. B. He couldn't afford them. The cafe didn't serve them. Matt said the music in the cafe was A. Cosmic B. Crappy Crappy and that was The Daily English Show. I hope you enjoyed today's show. You'll find the transcript for today's show at thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1443. And if you're looking for our podcast feeds, you'll find them at thedailyenglishshow.com slash podcast. That's all, folks. Mm-hmm.